good morning students now we will start our second topic subject home science class 11th last class i i told you about a skeleton system backbone a spinal vertebral column today i will tell you about thorax the sternum and ribs mainly consists the bony cage of thoracic region in human body it forms a hollow bony cavity by joining the ribs or sternum with the dorsal side of the vertebral column sternum the sternum or breast bone is flat and shaped more or less like a dagger with the broad upper most end it conical it shape because it is comparatively broader on the upper side and gradually narrow downwards it provides space joining the collar bones and the shoulder blade or scapula here given is picture of thorax figure number 2.9 vertebral column first dorsal vertebra first strip neck bone it is called neck bone mandibulum costal cartilage body of sternum here given is parts where it, where it is found x y processes and vertebral column last uh, where it is joined ribs the ribs form part of the bony cage in closing the thorax the chest cavity in man there are 12 pa pairs of ribs and they are the attached to backbone by tub fibers ligaments the first given seven parts of ribs are also attached to the breast bone in front the front end of the next three pairs of ribs are not attached directly to the breast breast bone but to a piece of cartilage that joins them to the breast bones the last two parts are attached to the backbone only jo piche se backbone se ye jude hote hain abdomen only two pelvic bones are present in the abdominal region of man both the bones together form a pelvic cavity and provide a space for joining of the hind limbs pelvic girdle there is one bone on bone both the side behind the stomach under the middle muscles of the chest which is called pelvic girdle or hip bone both the legs are joined to the trunk through the pelvic girdle dono pair hamare is pelvic girdle se jude hote hain hip bones long and non systematic bones are called the hip bones the right and left parts under these are joined together in the front which is called pubis jo ye hamare andar jude hote hain andar ja ke milte hain us ko hum kehte hain pubis the lower ridges part of the thigh bone is called ischium these bones help man to sit easily jisse insaan aasani se baith sakta hai the remaining part of called ilium characteristics a cord pelvic girdle is cup type bones are in close a basic shape called pelvic cavity it helps our body in the following ways according to the weight of body it is heavy and strong bone deep hollow on the both side of the ilium in which the rounded end of the thigh and fixed the soft organs like uterus urine bladder urinary bladder and rectum are kept safe inside the cavity of pelvic girdle isme ye sare hamari body ke parts safe rehte hain
द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पेल्विक गर्डल ऑफ मेन एंड वुमेन और मेन और वेमेन के दोनों के पेल्विक गर्डल थोड़े फर्क होते हैं थैंक यू बच्चों मैं अगले नेक्स्ट चैप्टर में आपको द एक्सट्रीमाइट्स के बारे में एक्सट्रीमिटीज़ के बारे में बताऊंगी आई विल टेल यू इन नेक्स्ट क्लास